was a guy that worked on the Framingham study originally, George Mann, who was completely, uh, I mean, he, he set up the, the Framingham study originally, but then fell out with the various mm -hmm. people saying, all these ideas about diet are just nonsense. But he was the man that went to the Maasai villages in Kenya and uh, said, okay, well, these guys eat nothing but animal f f fat. Well, they, they drink milk and they, and, and they drink blood and they eat cows and they don't touch vegetables because they think they will stop them from being proper manly men, if you like. Right. So they ate this stuff. And, of course, they ended up looking oops, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. And like a movie their, star. <laughs> their their cholesterol levels were really pretty low. And well, and the the, you know, they, look they at the polar up. Eskimos di uh, diet. That that's a, another interesting thing. There, we've got pretty good historical references on on the diet of polar Eskimos. There were no vegetables available, and these people no. do not have, did not have heart disease. That lifestyle is no. pretty much extinct but well, the, the the sami villagers of of scandinavia right which we, we possibly call eskimo they're not really eskimo same kind the of reindeer, that, reindeer, same kind the of reindeer the reindeer herders right no plants available no no so, and they had the reindeer basically right um and yet they had the low i mean they smoked like chimneys <laughs> they actually had quite high cholesterol levels <laughs> and they had almost zero heart disease yeah, I mean, you can find population after population. It is, um, it, as you say, how on earth, it, normally a hypothesis dies when you find one of Karl Popper's black swans, you know. You're, okay, right. so, you know, uh, I believe high cholesterol causes heart disease. Well, here's a population with high cholesterol, and they don't have heart disease. I mean, I looked at the Japanese, mm. and in the 19, early 1960s, the Japanese average cholesterol level was, sorry, I'm going to try and convert because I've, use millimoles per liter uh 3.9 which is about uh 150 milligrams per deciliter that's low low very, very low and they had almost no heart disease but they had, very, they had very little meat now at one stage everyone and this was ansel keys used them as an example mm -hmm. they they were the poster boys for the low fat low cholesterol diet with low cholesterol and no heart disease right but, but an interesting thing happened to the japanese over the next 40 or 50 years is they started eating a lot more animal produce because they got richer they had a lot more cholesterol they had a lot more fat their cholesterol levels went up to on average about 220 and their heart disease rate fell by 40 <laughs> percent and at the same time their rate of stroke fell by sevenfold seven fold there is no causative relationship to be demonstrated here well and you, you can it, demonstrate it if you if you choose very you, carefully one or two populations and that's and exactly what ansel keys did isn't it yeah uh, i mean he, why yeah. didn't he study france the french right. the french have the highest saturated fat intake in europe and they have the lowest rate of cardiovascular disease in Europe. The the Seven Nations study was an amazing document, wasn't it? it well, yeah, it was almost like it, it was so. Oh, it was almost like it, I'm just going to completely make up. I'm just going to choose out of my 22 countries that that don't fit the hypothesis. I'm going to find seven that do. Well, I mean, that's just the. The antithesis of science. Isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just the opposite of. I mean, I, and people still failure. believe this nonsense. It's just absolutely amazing to me that you. Here we are, forty years into this idiocy about dietary cholesterol and heart disease. Well, it's seventy years actually. It's, tell the truth. Yeah, but it's you know we've had. It's been on TV nonstop for about forty, and it's uh, uh, we've just been inundated with this absolute demonstrable nonsense. Yeah, and everybody still believes it. And, I know. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's just uh, it's an amazing thing that.